Could we roll the video here? This videotape just scans across what the BMI uh, would be for a five foot 10 inch individual uh, male um, at a different weight. So this man has a BMI of 24, he's 5'10", 167 pounds. He is not obese. Uh, and of course, there are many people thinner than this uh, fellow. If he weighed 126 pounds, he'd have a BMI of 18. Scan up, above 25, uh, people are said to be overweight. So this fellow looks uh, not in the, uh, the, the thinnest person around, but he's overweight uh, here uh, because his BMI is now 25 with a weight of 174 pounds. Let's scan up. If you have a BMI of 30, weight of 209 pounds, you're said to be obese, clinically obese. Uh, BMI of 35, your weight is 244 pounds. It's obviously this fellow is significantly obese now. And at a BMI of 40, which corresponds to 5 foot 10, 279 pounds, this is said to be morbidly obese. But there's a range. You just walk the streets and you'll see a range such as this. Now there are some problems with the BMI. I'll illustrate one here. It doesn't really distinguish whether your, fat is, your, your, your weight is coming from fat or muscle. Um, and so it's a reasonable measure from a public health point of view, but it's not a perfect measure for the individual.